One of the most challenging things that we face as a parent, how to keep our cool, especially with toddlers, Somehow the little ones. they know how to push our buttons. Mm. Let's find out what to do. I like to start with the why, because that helps us to understand some things. So why would we lose our cool in the first place? Why would that ever happen? I don't know. Why would you lose your cool with a child, especially a toddler? Vicki, I'm a psychologist. I can answer this. <laughs> okay, good. It always comes back to our beliefs. Right. Our beliefs. And our beliefs are often hidden from us. We're not even sure what we believe because it's at a subconscious level. But check this out. If you're losing your cool, it's because you believe that things should not be the way that they are. That this isn't how it should be. Does that resonate with you? Can you see that the belief, sometimes hidden from you, is that you believe that things are not the way that they should be? Mm -hmm. So if we're losing our cool with a toddler, we believe that that toddler should be different from how they actually are. Strap your head around that. Vicki, how should a toddler be? Probably the toddler should behave the exact way they're, they're behaving. The, what? Yeah, I know. You know, we, we really need to adjust our expectations. When you're working with a toddler, it is super important to understand a little bit about human development. Uh, maybe a little more than a little, too. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not that hard to find kind of, uh, if you just Google stages of development especially of just like right. what a child should and shouldn't be able to do you can find a lot of information there are norms there are expectations right. and when i say expectations in this context i mean what most kids do right. statistically predictably mm -hmm. between certain ages what can i expect knowing that information helps you to look at your own situation and realize oh you know what? Exactly this is exactly this the way this right. child should behave right. right now. So really to, to stop being so um, irritated or losing your cool with your toddler, make sure you understand if their behavior is even outside of the norm or not. Mm. And then adjust your expectations to go along with what is developmentally appropriate. Right. You know, this is the crux of some of the programs that we've developed as mm -hmm. well, where right. It's so important to understand that child's stage of development, what they're developmentally capable of, mm -hmm. because then our own emotions don't get sucked into it as we believe that this isn't how it should be. Right. Adjust those expectations. Even though you've adjusted your expectations, that doesn't mean the way they're behaving isn't annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so you might need Good to just point. learn how to breathe and stay calm on so your this own. may be exactly as it should be but it's not what i want or right. would prefer right right so go ahead and just take a minute to to be calm and you mm. know what i am a really big fan of stepping back sometimes children and especially young children like toddlers are really really bad at regulating their own emotions they're not bad kids no <laughs> They're really bad at regulating their emotions and that's appropriate and it's the way that it should be. It's what kids do. Right. Adults have the capability to do that. We're counting on you as the parent to find ways to calm your own mm -hmm. emotions. Yeah. To do some soothing of yourself because your child's not necessarily going to do that. So how do you do that? Breathing, meditation, take good care of yourself, you know, get some physical activity and exercise in. Eat a balanced diet, get enough oh, sleep. Oh, I was going to say eat the chocolate, but you're right. A balanced diet probably would help more. There you go. You <laughs> heard it from the expert. Get a little chocolate on board. <laughs> yeah. Well, and honestly, whatever you can do to take care of your own feelings yeah. puts you in a better position to deal with your toddler and to stay cool while, while they're, this disruption is happening. Which may be appropriate for them the way that they're doing it. So. Absolutely. I'm a big fan, Vicki, of reframing things. I don't mean like, you know, reframe the picture on the wall. I'm talking about reframing in your own mind or coming up with a new understanding of whatever it is that you're experiencing. This reminds me of something when our, I think it was our oldest one was little, and he mm -hmm. had made this sunshine in a child's class that we had him in on the weekend. Uh -huh. And he came home, and I remember him ripping it and throwing it on the floor. And you made some comment about, oh, my goodness, he just ripped that all up. And I said, yeah, he's scattering sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> Good reframe. Yeah. I thought of a story also that was shared by Michael McLean, one of my favorite storytellers, about a mom who came home with some pies. And as she was getting them out of the back of the minivan, she fumbled the pie and it ended right on the driveway. Mm -hmm. She went inside. And the kids are all like, <gasps> We're gonna be in trouble. This is big trouble, right? Mom goes inside, she comes out with forks. And they all plop down on the driveway and start eating this pie. Yeah. Now, what can we do with that? Reframe it. Make it fun. Find some way to enjoy or experience the beauty of the toddler. what just happened. Right. Our daughter-in-law is good at this. She reminds us all the time, that's how toddlers do things. And so she just yeah. enjoys the moment. And she'll send us little videos or little pictures of messes. Yeah. We call them messes. This is your child exploring the world mm -hmm. and maybe becoming the next Einstein. Who knows, right? But reframe it in a way that allows you to see it as cute, adorable. Babies don't keep. And that's something we know all too well. Ours are all grown up now. Grandkids are fun. I'm telling you what. <laughs> uh, but they don't keep. So enjoy them as they're little. We enjoy making these videos and hope that it helps you create a more peaceful home. If you would like to power up your parenting even more, Vicki and I have teamed up on this course because we're passionate about helping you to create a peaceful environment at home, to have more confidence as a parent, and to have the tools that you need to show up for your kids in a more powerful way. You can link to the Parenting Power Up right over here, down in the description, or simply go to parentingpowerup.com. We'll be back soon. Had a number so I could be color unknown. And then I tell how to look into my eyes and